Just when I thought I was done making videos today, one of my subscribers, Ciaran Canning, inspired me to do another video. So I will start off today's video with her comment. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. So I'll start off with her comment. Hey, hey again. So you know about Neo's partnership with Cattle. <clears throat> so I'm excited to find out what will happen going forward. Excuse me, guys. Here's some research I've done. The specific details of the Neo and Cattle partnership regarding battery technology patents and royalties are likely not publicly available. However, Based on what we know about the partnership, we can make some educated guesses. Shared development, shared ownership. Since this is a joint development effort, it's possible that Neon Cattle would share ownership of any resulting patents. This would allow both companies to benefit from the technology in their respective areas. Neo could use it in their vehicles and swapping stations, while Cattle could potentially license it to other car manufacturers. Royalties for exclusive use. There's also a chance that the agreement grants Neo exclusive rights to use their co-developed battery technology in their vehicles. In this case, Cattle might receive royalties from Neo for each vehicle sold that uses the new battery. Focus on Neo needs. It's important to remember that the focus of the partnership seems to be developing batteries specifically for NEO's electric vehicles and swapping stations. This might suggest that NEO would have primary rights to the technology. Here's what you can find out more. Check NEO and Cattle Investors Relations website for press releases on reports that might mention the partnership and any agreements on intellectual property. Very smart idea. Look for the industry news articles that develop into partnership details. These might offer insights from analysts or experts familiar with such agreements, and I will be looking into that. While we can't say for certain without seeing the actual agreement, it's likely that NEO will benefit from the core developed technology in some way, either through shared ownership of patents or exclusive use with potential royalties. And a lot of people are worrying about, well, how will it benefit us? Rest assured that it will benefit us. It will benefit both parties. And another comment that I found to be very interesting. She said, if Neo was playing a tournament in football with its partners, it would have 11 players, right? Well, in America, they call it soccer. The rest of the world, we know it as football. You, it would have 11 players. Tesla would have one player itself. Let's take, let's think about that. My money is on Neo, the winning World Cup. Woohoo! I love that. I love that a lot. And one more comment. Um, hold on, guys. Yes, uh, this is from Von Sia Pierce. Uh, 5850 left a comment. Hi, Mitch. I work for Hertz in the Orlando International Airport. We got beat up with those Teslas. Customers didn't want to rent them on vacation. They were having anxiety about finding a charging station. We needed more charging stations in Orlando and now we have a Hertz car sales lot trying to get, refer, get rid of Teslas. The car lot is a ghost town. Tesla vehicles put a big financial burden on our company. So this is just an example of what I was talking about guys that the writing is on the wall. And <clears throat> just when I thought I was done doing videos, and again, like I was just saying, people are saying, well, how is it going to benefit us? Listen and listen up, my fellow lions and lionesses. Neo JSC Ions hyper brand to interconnect charging network by end of May. Remember, they just signed the deal. In the end of May, this is April. Boom, boom, boom. What is happening with our next earnings report, my dear lads? Previously, companies including SAIC, GU, Geely Automobile Holdings, and DPAL have announced access to NEO's charging network. <laughs> While the, why their customers are going to be paying us? 
Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Neo and Hyper, the premium sub-brand of GSC Ion, will interconnect their respective charging networks at the end of May. The two companies announced today. Neo has one of the largest charging and battery swap networks in China. Let me say that again because people are thinking our revenue is only coming from selling EVs. Excuse me, guys. Neo has one of the largest charging and battery swap networks in China and the battery swap charging battery swap networks in China. As of today, the company has 2,248 supercharging stations in China. You heard that right providing 10,284 charging piles and 1,580 destinations and we keep building them out. Charging station providing, a, providing a 1,208 chargers. Remember, I've always said it, infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. We will dominate the landscape. Anywhere you go, you will see the Neo symbol. The electric vehicle maker's signature battery swap stations numbers 2,413 in China, according to the data complied by CNEV Post. Neo already has over 20,000 charging piles, making it the automotive brand with the most chargers in the country. See, while everyone else was concentrating on just making EVs, we, our Emperor Lee understood the bigger picture. The interconnection of the charging networks of both sides can make every trip more convenient and efficient for users, it said today. Hyper currently has 1,200 supercharging stations offering 7,084 chargers according to data released by the brand today. The partnership in part is part of NEO's collaboration with J GAC Group, the parent company of GAC Ion. On May 8, NEO said it signed a strategic cooperation agreement on charging and battery swap with GAC in Guangzhou. This was yesterday. Now we're seeing how it's coming into fruition quickly speeding up and let me just say this guys Guangzhou uh, I said it in my last video I'll say it again Neo Francis his friend San Francisco excuse me he travels to China a lot he's going there soon again and he told me in Guangzhou all you see is GSC EVs he says it's amazing so people still don't understand how big this deal is this is huge so imagine all of them using our charging network Hoo, 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 hoo. And they're going to be using all battery swap stations as they get their cars ready. Neo and GSE will work together to establish a unified battery standard, which is desperately needed, and co-develop battery swap and enable passenger cars. Remember, I talk about that. They're going to co-develop passenger cars. Let's, um, like they say, it, let's cash burn <laughs> partnerships. And compatible with models of both brands, according to a statement yesterday, and Neo San Francisco sent me a text message. I'll see if I can find it as, before I close out this video. Where basically, what he was saying is Europe missed their opportunity, and Neo is partnering up with all the giants in China. Europe is going to take a even bigger beating now. Neo and GSE will realize dynamic data interconnectivity by the end of this month. By the end of this month making charging easier by enabling users not to not only search for and navigate to a charger but also start and pay for a charging session through the brand's apps mini programs and power maps on center displays according to the statement prior to hyper companies including saic motor gu Geely automobile holdings and dpal have announced access to neo's charging network do you guys understand the revenue we'll be making Woo! And we're still a baby. We're going into 25 countries into five years. <laughs> we are going to be millionaires. A couple of my subscribers said they are too also going to be buying properties in, in Florida. And I told them, don't buy a house. Buy a duplex, triplex, or quadruplex. And I'm, I'm sorry I'm not getting off topic too far here. But the reason why you do that in America is because property taxes are so high here now. If you have a house you actually have a liability, not an asset. So if you have a, up to a quadruplex, the bank treats it as a single family dwelling as long as you live in one of the units. So you pay a lower interest rate and you have passive income coming in, my fellow lions and lionesses. Notably, Neo's charging network has been open to other brands of EVs. 
The direct collaboration between other car companies and Mio will help provide a better charging experience. Range anxiety out of the equation yet again. Such as integration of Mio's charging facilities on the in-vehicle screen and sense senseless payments. Mio GSE signed a deal on charging and battery swapping. So, for those of you guys who are wondering, how is this going to benefit us? You see, all of our partnerships will benefit us because it will help us to build out at a cheaper cost. It will help us to build out in a massive way. I predict 1,000 stations just from us, but what about the partnerships? Getting ready for when we unleash Envoy to destroy the Model Y and the rest of the competition. When we release Firefly in Europe and in Australia this year, possibly. I think so. Most likely. <clears throat> our Model Y, sorry, our Model Y killer. Envoy Ladao and Firefly, I believe they will also be in Australia because I showed you guys that um, I left that link where you see they already have the patterns in Australia for it. So I hope you guys found this video yet again to be informational, inspirational, and motivational. If so, guys, do not forget to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset like 50 said, we get rich or we die trying, guys.